Did you know that King Henry VIII had someone who cleaned his rear end? This was the honorable duty of cleaning the king's rear end. To hold this position, which was considered of high dignity, one had to carry a stool with a hole, along with towels, cups, and basins, in addition to being educated. On April 22, 1509, Henry VIII was proclaimed King of the United Kingdom, and his proclamation would bring about significant social changes, including the break from the Catholic Church, the death penalty for witches, sodomy, and much more. Did you know that King Henry VIII had someone to clean his rear end? The dreadful task of cleaning the king's rear end. King Henry VIII of England had servants known as groom of the stool, or literally stool attendant, or sometimes something like feces attendants. To hold this position, which was considered a very high dignity, in addition to carrying a stool with a hole in the middle, along with towels, cups, and basins, one had to be cultured, as they were always by the king's side. Even when he was alone, physiological needs would always be present. When the king went to the bathroom, his attendant, besides helping him remove and then put on his clothes, would engage in conversation while the fragrant matter came out. This meant that this attendant held the king's most intimate secrets. This position lasted in royalty for nearly 400 years, and it was of such significance that aristocratic families considered it a major achievement to have a family member in the role of the king's mozo de las hex, feces attendant. Such was the significance that many of them became private secretaries, or as in the case of John Stuart, who began in that role and rose to become the British Prime Minister over time. As time passed, the word evolved. It shifted from limpiaculos to lavaculos, then to lameculos, and nowadays, in colloquial terms, the more colloquial term lambeculos is used for those who, knowing someone's secrets, flatter them even in their shortcomings, enduring everything, including foul odors, while waiting for a chance to ascend or emerge. The desire to climb the ranks and ingratiate oneself with those in power is something one can understand, though I neither like the concept nor the name of the position. Out of respect, I prefer to call them groom of the stool. It's the same thing, but it sounds nicer. But the most intimate position of all was that of the groom of the stool, or literally stool attendant, referring to the furniture used for bodily functions. Although in a century later it seems to have started losing that meaning and adopting the other sense of the word in English, mozo de las hex, feces attendant. In any case, both were fitting, as it essentially involved the man who assisted the king when he attended to his needs. Henry VIII had so much trust in this figure that they were called the principal gentlemen of the chamber. From the time of Henry VII onwards, the same man was also in charge of the privy purse, he was the king's personal treasurer. In fact, he practically directed England's fiscal policy. The first to clean Henry VIII's rear end. The first mozo de hex of Henry VIII was Sir William Compton, circa 1482-1528, who held the position from 1509-1526. His father died when he was around 11 years old. As an heir, Compton became a ward of Henry VII, who made him a page to the prince who would become Henry VIII. The two young men became very close, and when Henry ascended the throne, he appointed his lifelong friend as his chief rear end cleaner. Thanks to his intimacy with Henry VIII, and the subsequent ability to influence royal patronage, Compton became exceptionally wealthy. By 1521, Compton managed more royal properties than all other courtiers combined. Henry VIII also showered him with lucrative positions, including Chancellor of Ireland, Sheriff of Worcestershire, and of Somerset and Dorset. The last to attend to Henry VIII's intimacies was Sir Anthony Denny, 1501-49. He was an extreme Protestant who allied with Cromwell and became a courtier in the 1520s. At the time of Henry VIII's death in 1547, Denny was the mozo de los hex, controlling who could see the bedridden monarch. This was when he faced his most difficult and pivotal moment, Henry VIII needed to complete his will, but it was considered treason to tell the king that he was dying. So Denny, his closest companion, took a risk and ensured that Edward Seymour was appointed Lord Protector, thereby securing power for the Protestant faction after the king's death. We have concluded this chronicle and review. We hope this video has been entirely to your liking. Thank you very much for your time and visit. We will meet again soon.